Well, folks, for a while now, we have been talking about how Megan looks very, very, very thin. It's funny to me, too, because earlier I came across a photo of Catherine, and I was thinking about how when it comes to appearance, there seems to be an inverse correlation between the two royal wives. As Megan is losing her looks, Catherine is only looking better. I mean, Catherine looks gorgeous these days. She looks so healthy. Sometimes she can look a little thin, too, but not lately. I think that she's doing the right amount of exercise. Megan, on the other hand, uh, well, don't worry. We're going to get into that in just a minute. Just yesterday, I came across a new article on the online version of InTouch Weekly. The headline read, Meghan Markle not taking care of herself amid drastic weight loss. Something's seriously wrong. Well, the first thought that popped into my head was, yes, something is seriously wrong with her. That's what we've been saying the whole time. Why is In Touch Weekly just now waking up to that fact? But then I realized they weren't talking about who she is as a person. They were talking about her appearance and her weight loss. And I thought, well, they're probably not going to address the questions that are on my mind. But anyway, let's see what this is all about. When I see these articles, I also always try to figure out what is the angle here. Is this another puff piece from Megan's PR people? Is this an article from Megan's critics that's going to be a bit more honest than what we see in the puff pieces? Well, let's find out together. The article starts off by recapping Meghan and Harry's little trip to New York, where they were part of some panel discussion about the damaging effects of social media in honor of World Mental Health Day. Because, of course, who better to tell us how to take care of our mental health than a couple of lunatics? A source for the magazine reported, something seriously wrong. She's obviously not taking care of herself and is looking scary skinny. Well, this is something that's obvious to anybody who's seen a photo of her recently. The way that her eyes are all sunken in her head. I mean, she looks frightening. Maybe she's getting ready for Halloween. Maybe this is all part of her costume. According to a nutrition expert, Dr. Fred Pescatori, uh, Meghan Markle is five foot six and she probably weighs about 100 pounds right now. So if his estimates are right, that is a very unhealthy weight. That would put her BMI at around 16, which is incredibly underweight. Now, I'm not really sure if I believe that she is 5'6". Does anybody know how tall Megan really is? I always thought she was shorter than that, but okay, we'll take this doctor's word for it. And then we're reminded that Megan has really struggled with body image before. Quote, My 20s were brutal, she said, a constant battle with myself judging my weight. But this time, according to the source, is different. Well, according to this article, loved ones fear the extreme weight loss could be a sign she's relapsing into the serious depression that plagued her after her marriage. Okay, and here we have it, folks. Now it's pretty clear exactly what this article is all about. We need to be reminded that Megan is very fragile. Megan is very sensitive. People have been really mean to her lately, and it's just too much for her. The stress is really getting to her. It's just like how the royal family was so abusive towards her that she wanted to take her own life. <laughs> Come on. But we're reminded of what Megan said back in 2018 after her wedding. While she was pregnant with her invisible son Archie, she went to a dark place according to this article. She confessed, I just didn't want to be alive anymore. That was a very clear and real and frightening constant thought. Oh, wham, wham, poor Megan. Because let's remember, Megan's pain is the only pain that matters. I'm still not convinced that she, as a narcissistic witch, is able to feel pain. But whatever. She's able to pretend that she feels pain. But what about the pain that she inflicts on other people? We're supposed to forget about that. So the article goes on to report, life was supposed to be easier when the pair left the royal family for California, but in many ways, her burdens have just intensified. The source reports, for one, she was blamed for Harry's estrangement from his family. Even though he has repeatedly said it was his idea to leave, people still think she's controlling him. Oh, I wonder why. I mean... <laughs> Honestly, you guys, these puff pieces just get more and more ridiculous. So I guess now Megan is realizing that people are on to her. People see what she's all about. So she's got to do what? Play the victim yet again. Because how can we be mad at her for controlling Harry if she's suffering from depression? Of course we can't, right? We're going to forgive her and we're going to finally bow down and kiss her ugly toes. 
The article then goes on to discuss their business failures a little bit. I don't even think I need to list them all again. I think that we have covered them enough. And suffice to say, there have been far more failures than successes. In fact, I don't think they have had any successes. Because as this article suggests, Meghan and Harry absolutely were in over their heads. They had no idea what they were doing when it came to production of either the TV series or docu-series or whatever, or the podcast series. They had no idea how to actually deliver what they had promised. But anyway, the source reports money is definitely an issue and their bills are piling up. Meghan feels like she's constantly having to hustle to afford her and Harry's lifestyle. Well, she is a hustler, so at least she knows how to do that. But I guess that explains why we've seen her out merching all these ridiculous products, like that stress patch or whatever that she was wearing. It's why she and Harry had to go to Soho House on that Caribbean island. They needed the money. Now, I do believe this part of the article 100%. Their finances cannot be in good shape the way that she loves to spend. The source also says she's struggling to balance her time with them as well, talking about Archificial and Invisibad. She has a lot on her plate, says the source. Well, I will not disagree that Megan has a lot on her plate. Now, I disagree that she has a lot on her plate because she's a busy working mom. No, no, no. She has a lot on her plate because of all the problems she has created and all the lies she's told. I can't imagine having to keep up with all those lies. That would be a full-time job in and of itself. Oh, and the source also claims that Harry is really worried about Megan. Harry has noticed a decline in Megan. He sees she isn't herself, according to the source, and that it's affecting her health. And then, because this is a puff piece, we need to be reminded of the parallels between Megan and Diana. Diana struggled with bulimia, and so Harry basically sees that Megan is going through the same thing. The source reveals he's made it clear that he fears his wife will suffer in the same way his mother did, and his experiences have made him hyper-aware of mental health red flags. Really? He's hyper-aware of mental health red flags? Is that because every time he looks in the mirror, he sees a bunch of mental health red flags? I mean, seriously, has he looked in the mirror recently? Harry looks like a bum who hasn't showered in a month and has at least five ongoing addictions. If anybody is showing some mental health red flags, I would think it's him. Oh, and apparently, Harry has the answer to all their problems. According to In Touch, Harry is considering another big move. The source said he's concerned that LA isn't the best environment for her right now, noting that hanging out with the Hollywood crowd has had the inevitable effect of taking their focus away from their philanthropic work. And the source goes on to say he thinks New York might be a better fit for them. He misses the hustle and bustle of a big city, and it's closer to London. He just wants his wife to be happy and healthy. Well, isn't that sweet? Now, okay, that last paragraph, though, friends, I mean, I almost started laughing when I was reading that. What is he talking about, considering a move to New York? What about the near-catastrophic car chase? I mean, how on earth would they prevent that from happening again and again? I mean, let's remember, last week when they were in New York, they felt so unsafe, they had to hire seven black Ubers to travel with them a single block. Without that convoy of Ubers, they weren't sure they were going to make it all 200 feet. I do think it would be a good idea for them to move away from L.A. because I would guess by now all the celebrities in L.A. are sick and tired of dealing with the two of them. At this point, think about how long the list is of people who are actively avoiding Meghan Markle's phone calls. She also seems like the type of person to just show up unannounced with a loaf of homemade banana bread. Her poor neighbors probably have to check their front door cameras every time they hear a knock to make sure it's not her. So, the big takeaway from this article is that Meghan and Harry still don't get it. Even though they are the creators of this whole mess, they are the reason they find themselves in this difficult situation and feeling stressed out, they refuse to take accountability. And I hate to break it to them, but until they change themselves, until they actually start to act like adults, life in New York is not going to be any easier than life in L.A. And you, do you think Megan's cracking up? Please let me know your opinion below in the comments section. As always, do not forget to like and share this video with anybody else who would appreciate it. And before you go, if you didn't already, click that subscribe button so that you don't miss a thing. Thank you so much for tuning in, have a lovely day, and I'll be back to see you in the next videos.